everyone. I am Natalia together here with Fikri. Hey guys, Fikri here. I am here to host this FB live stream together with Natalia on Borders Are Opening. Are you looking to travel again? Join us to hear the latest travel trends and norms brought to you by BP Healthcare. Thank you for being with us today and hope everyone is staying safe and practicing SOPs at all times. Now before we begin, I just want to say that today is a very exciting day. And Fikri, do you know why that is? Of course I do. It's because we are featuring four special guests from Malaysia Airports holding Berhad, MAHB, BP Healthcare, Ministry of Tourism, MOT, and Medical Healthcare Travel Council, MHTC, in our live stream today. And they will be sharing some insights on the latest travel trends and norms post-COVID-19 pandemic. Not just that, we also have some exciting giveaways during the event, which includes an iPad 6th generation 2021 model, a MacBook Air M1 13-inch 2021 model. So be sure to pay close attention during the live stream and stay with us until the very end to stand a chance to win these exciting giveaways. Remember to share this live stream with your friends and families as there is so much information to unpack regarding all your travel queries post-pandemic. Also, if you got any questions throughout this event, please feel free to drop us your queries in the comment section and we'll try to address them throughout the event. <laughs> yes, so where are we right now? In case you're wondering, we are currently filming live here at this amazing state-of-the-art BP Healthcare Screening Centre at KLIA, which was set up by MAHB in collaboration with BP Healthcare. All right, Natalia, for most of us, the name BP Healthcare is very familiar. Mm -hmm. eh? And undeniably, BP Healthcare has been a strong and leading player in the diagnostic industry in Malaysia for over 30 years. Now, in line with the government's aim of hashtag reopening safely, BP has been appointed by MAHB to set up health screening centres at not just here in KLIA but also in KLIA2 to provide premium COVID-19 screening services for passengers at the airports before departure and upon arrival or even both. Yeah. Right. Now, based on the current travel SOP, COVID-19 testing is compulsory upon arrival at KLIA and KLIA2 for all passengers. As such, passengers can head to BP screening facility to undergo their COVID-19 test. Yes, and this also applies for arrivals under the Malaysia-Singapore vaccinated travel lane and the Langkawi travel bubble in which travellers are required to undergo COVID-19 tests at BP Healthcare Screening Centre upon arrival in Malaysia in order to enjoy quarantine-free travel. This top-class health screening services will be available at five locations in KLIA and three locations at KLIA2, which will start operating in stages. The first centre, where we are at right now, has been up and running at gate G1 Level 4 KLIA since 19th of September 2021. Now, this screening centre is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, which includes a thermal scanner, robust on-site laboratory and a comfortable waiting lounge. Mm -hmm. Check out this video for a passenger walkthrough upon arrival at KLIA. Hello and welcome to Malaysia. Whether it's your first time here or on a returning flight, we at BP are committed to creating a pleasant experience for you through our new COVID-19 screening process here in KLIA. So, come and join us as we walk you through these simple steps. As soon as you arrive, please proceed towards the BP Health Screening Lounge. There will be signages to guide you there. Our ushers will help you to put on a red BP wristband while you proceed to walk past a thermal scanner which scans all arriving passengers. Upon arrival at the BP Health Screening Centre, you can purchase the local SIM card at the BP Lounge itself. For those who have purchased our COVID-19 swab test online from your home country, please proceed to the self-registration kiosk to process your e-vouchers. If you have not yet purchased the swab test, do not worry as our friendly BP registration staff will assist you with the process. After registering, take a seat 
and relax at a world-class design lounge while you wait for your COVID-19 swab test. With our regularly sanitized facility and also our food and beverage station that offers a variety of healthy snacks, you are assured of a comfortable and clean environment that relaxes your mind while waiting. Once you are called, you will be ushered to scan your My Sejahtera app and proceed to the BP Swap Station. Our dedicated team of healthcare professionals will be there to support you through the entire process. Our screening facility is also equipped with a state-of-the-art on-site COVID-19 lab to ensure a quick turnaround time and the release of the test results. And that's it! Here at BP, we hope that you have a pleasant experience with us throughout this process. Till we meet again next time from everyone here at BP. Take care and stay safe. Wow, isn't that awesome? So why is this screening centre important? As we approach almost two years since the COVID-19 outbreak in March 2020, we're finally seeing more countries globally, including Malaysia, opening up their borders. Now, in the transitions towards the endemic phase, it is important for us to learn to embrace and adopt the new norms in all spheres of life, including travelling. With regards to this, our special guest today will be sharing some valuable insights and information on the latest travel norms post-COVID-19 pandemic that will come in handy in planning your next trip or getaway. Remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop your queries in the comment section below and we'll try to address them. Now, with that, let us welcome our first guest from MAHB, Ms. Hani Ezra Hussein, who's currently the Senior General Manager, Commercial Services of MAHB. Hello, Ms. Hani. Hi, Fikri. It is a pleasure to Good have evening. you with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me tonight. Okay, perhaps, yeah. Ms. Hani, you can start by uh, briefly introducing yourself. Okay, yeah. my name is Hani Ezra Hussein. I'm the Senior General Manager of Commercial Services of Malaysia Airports. I basically oversee all the commercial businesses uh, of what we call the non aero business. So whatever that is not uh, on the air, uh, uh, which is we call it arrow revenue mm -hmm. uh, will be under my jurisdiction so you see uh, all the retailers the parking spaces the advertising spaces uh, non arrow related um, is, is actually under my care right. yeah. okay now okay. to the first question over the past few months we've actually seen many countries easing lockdown restrictions so uh, that also includes in our very own country Malaysia yeah, where uh, we're allowed to travel in and out of the country However, our border is still closed for international tourists. So my first question is, what is the current travel outlook for Malaysia Airport? All right, um, following the lifting of the interstate travel restriction, um, our monthly domestic passenger movement in October had increased threefold ah. uh, from the month before. And for the first time, we had surpassed uh, the one million uh, passenger wow. uh, number. So all of us are very excited. This is definitely uh, the, you know, the, the first mark to more passenger coming through our doors. Yeah, uh, and the recently announced designated uh, travel lane between KL International Airport and as well as Changi, um, uh, Singapore, um, uh, that is going to be held on the 29th uh, of November, the starting BTL, this yeah. coming Monday. Right. Uh, we would expect more travelers to come in um, to our doors. Oh, uh, prior to that, we we also had uh, introduced the Langkawi travel bubble on the 15th of November, uh, which welcomed foreigners uh, to our country. So that that's one of the first travel bubble that we opened. Uh, to foreign travellers, right. yeah. So after Singapore, will we be opening to perhaps Thailand and uh, Indonesia? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I hope so. Uh, it's definitely in the pipeline. That's that's what I've been actually um, told. Uh, and yes, we definitely look forward to have all our neighbouring countries to come first. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, we would also like to be going to other countries, you know, yes. to to <laughs> Bali, Phuket, you know, and so forth. Yeah. All right. All right. Great news. Great news. Okay, Miss Hani, what are the efforts and the innovations? Um, undertaken by MHB to make travel and airport experience not just uh, safer but also uh, seamless at the same time. So all of the 39 airports across the country continue to practice uh, COVID-19 safety measures such as the enhanced sanitization, disinfection exercises, mandatory thermal uh, screening and usage of face masks is definitely a must. 
uh, screen um, uh, or sneeze guards, you know, you see at oh. check-in counters are also being placed, uh, sanitizer stations, physical distancing um, reminders on the floor, among others, are being practiced. Yeah, we believe, you know, if all of us do not want another lockdown, all of us must practice the SOPs to make sure that, you know, we are all still in the safe mode. Yeah, okay, and uh, apart from that, uh, we definitely have to abide by the government, uh, you know, and we are remain guided by the government and relevant authorities uh, from the Ministry of Transport, the Ministry of Health and as well as National Disaster Management uh, Agency on the latest SOPs uh, to protect both the passengers and the airport community while curbing the pandemic. Okay. Um, in line with our brand promise as well, we call it hosting joyful connection, uh, the setup of several state-of-the-art private COVID-19 screening facilities at our airport aims to provide a comfortable and seamless travel experience like what you see here today. Um, this is definitely uh, a state-of-the-art lounge uh, where you know it's very organized uh, and simplified uh, and also allow a shorter waiting time because um, you know with, with the testing uh, uh, results can be out uh, almost almost you know uh, as fast as one hour yeah. to maximum of three hours yeah, yeah? Um, the lounge is also equipped with productivity uh, tools including portable Wi-Fi rent so so you won't be bored <laughs> Yeah, you can go on Netflix while you wait for your for your, for your results. Uh, there's also SIM cards uh, being sold uh, besides food and beverages. Okay, so we're very proud to have this screening center at KLIA to facilitate safe travel practices for the higher passenger volume to our country. We're we're very ready right. uh, for that. Okay, some flight tickets uh, just to let you know mm -hmm. on Monday. Were fully booked the moment uh, uh, it was open wow. uh, for booking right. within a few hours. So, so that goes to show how people are can't wait and are very excited to start traveling again. Yeah, it's been and too long. Yeah, it's been <laughs> very very long. Yeah. So, what is the future plan for MEHB to support the uh, travel requirements? Uh, we plan to definitely add more similar uh, setups uh, in the airport to cater to the higher volume. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got one, uh, two so far, uh, both in KLI, KLI 2. We're, we're, we're introducing more uh, in, at, at the satellite building. So as the people come, they can actually be dispersed to the various wings. Oh. Um, otherwise, you know, it will be a bottleneck if it goes to in only one center. So besides this, we are also making uh, or working to make available other related uh, or relevant services uh, to the travelers, including um, insurance coverage, you know, because that's one of the requirements uh, when, you, when you travel, so those are uh, some of the added benefits that we're adding on to the to the uh, additional services right. for passengers. Okay, Miss Hani, that was very resourceful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Fikri. Miss Hani Ezra yeah. Hussein, who is currently the senior general manager, commercial services of MAHB. Thank you so much again, Miss Hani. Thanks, Fikri. It was Have nice to you. Same to you. Pleasure, Bye. likewise. Thanks. <laughs> All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yes, I hope your uh, travel outlook and uh, is more, you know, you feel more safe, uh, much more assured uh, with all the uh, steps taken by MAHB. Commendable efforts indeed by MAHB. All right, now uh, up next, we are moving on to our second guest for the evening from BP Healthcare. Yamur Bahagia Dato, Dr. Haji Rohaizat. And uh, he's currently the senior advisor for BP Healthcare and has played a pivotal role in planning and setting up this amazing health screening center. Let us welcome him. Now moving on to our second guest for this evening from BP Healthcare, Yang Berbahagia, Dato Dr. Haji Rohaizat bin Haji Yon, who's currently the advisor for BP Healthcare and has played a pivotal role in planning and setting up this amazing Health Screening Centre. Hello, Dato. Good evening. Good evening. Sehat, Dato. Sehat. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I also want to congratulate Dato, eh, first and uh, foremost, and also BP for this world-class health screening centre uh, at the airport. And perhaps we can start, eh, Dato, with a brief introduction of yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Fikri. Yeah. And uh, as the moderator for today, I'm the advisor to the BP Healthcare, and particularly for for this uh, multi-million. Uh, uh, lab project in KLIA, you know, because now you can see this is the replica of COVID-19 oh. virus and people may ask you what is the size of this virus if you could take one hair, one hair and you slice this hair into 1,333 pieces that is the size of this COVID virus oh. and our lab here we able to detect this uh, COVID-19 test and we can do it in in 15 minutes, uh, one hour, and three hours. 
wow. they did the most difficult lab to be built in KLIA. Wow. Because you have to feel the security of the airport, of the uh, international regulation and so on. I think this is the most difficult lab to be built so far in my life. <laughs> Well, that was a great intro. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dato, can we uh, jump to the question? Yeah? Yes, yes, uh, Okay, please. we want to know more. So, how does BP play a role in helping the country reopen safely yeah. through this uh, health screening centre? As the major private uh, COVID-19 screening facility at, at key Malaysian airport, namely KLIA and KLI2, BP Healthcare serve as a gatekeeper to facilitate arrival of passengers uh, duly screened at the airport. And this will help enhance early case detection and subsequently mitigate importation of cases and to prevent the spread to the community of this virus. Yeah. As such, BP is devoted to play a significant role in protecting the safety of our community and helping the nation in the fight against COVID-19. And in addition to that, the provision of convenience and efficient screening services at BP Center help to further restore the confidence of passengers flying via our airports, which aids in the economic recovery while safeguarding national security. Right. Yeah. So you guys are like the first thing they see to ensure everyone is safe here in this country. Yes. All right. Yes. So second question, Dato, what are the COVID-19 uh, services provided, not just here in KLA where we are right now, yeah. but also in uh, KLA 2 as well? So BP currently provide three types of COVID-19 tests oh, okay. with quick turnaround time. Namely, number one is the uh, rapid uh, test kit, mm -hmm. what we call it RTK antigen. This takes about 15 minutes for the result to be ready and it is compulsory for all symptomatic passengers, okay. those who have cough and fever. And number two, we do reverse Transcription PCR or short form RT PCR, we takes three hours, and number three, we do also rapid PCR, and this will take only one hour. Oh. And in addition to this, BP also offers an optional antibody test, which only takes thirty minutes for the result to be ready. All these services, yeah, Fikri, yep. can be pre-purchased directly from BP online channel which include both our website, I think, http uh, uh, airport.doctor2u.my or via doctor 2 you mobile app. Yeah. Right. So, okay, this, uh, the COVID-19 results will be released on the platforms as well? Yes, well? they can get it uh, on uh, online, via email, mm -hmm. via platform or hard copy. Right. Whatever they, 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 they wish to. Or all of it? Yeah, or they can it. have all also. I see, I yeah. see. Okay, so my next question is, Dato, why should passengers utilize the BP services here at KLA? So, this is a, it is a very good question, uh, Fikri. BP is one of the leading and established healthcare provider, which over 38 years experience, and we run more than 120 outlets, and we staff a large pool of qualified doctors, nurses, and various allied health personnel. And BP is one of the top COVID-19 screening provider in Malaysia, which MOH licensed or accredited COVID-19 center nationwide. And BP has conducted COVID-19 tests on more than 3.5 million people to date. And we have assisted MOH with more than 1 million PCR since 2020. Oh. And uh, BP's system is integrated with several other systems such as MySojatra, uh, with also public health laboratory published system known as SIMCA. We also integrated with SOXO, also with immigration and others to provide seamless, seamless appointment and test result release. And actually, uh, Vikri, BP is the first Malaysian COVID-19 lab, first Malaysian COVID-19 lab to be recognized by the Ministry of Health Singapore ah. through collaboration with Temasi Affinity to provide cryptographically verifiable COVID-19 swab test in line with Singapore Ministry of Health and GovTech Singapore scheme. Uh, having pioneered this service in the country, BP has team of large pool of people and experts 
experience eh, to support this platform and services Pepe. Right. Hence the VTL soon yeah, happening, Singapore yeah. and Malaysia. So BP Screening Centre consists of the state-of-art facilities and including world-class and robust laboratory complete with PCR room and then we have also the, the one for three hours, we have also for one hours and BP strive to ensure that the highest standard of services are maintained and to provide safe number one, mm -hmm. and a comfortable environment to, pas to, to passengers. Right. And passengers can look forward to being escorted from the arrival and to these gates and uh, to the BP testing area. And at this launch, at the BP launch, passengers can wait for their results comfortably, that's the most important, which this launch equipped with productivity tools, yeah, degrees, yeah. such as Wi-Fi, and then portable Wi-Fi rental, also the telecommuni telecommunication SIM card, while indulging with food and beverages right. that are, are, are on sale. Right. And sh in short, I think passengers can expect a premium quality services with quick turnaround time at BP screening facilities. Pepe. So, tunggu pun tak rasa eh? Yeah, tak yeah. rasa. They have a lot of food here, right. they have uh, Wi-Fi and uh, they can charge their handphone here. Yeah. So, it is very comfortable and very safe. And the chairs, you can even take a nap if you want. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I tried it myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, Dato, the yeah. fourth question. What is the vision for the health screening centers in uh, KLA and also KLA2? So this is uh, uh, something that has uh, been asked by many people. Uh, BP through its uh, uh, system, through its uh, network, uh, aim to serve as the gatekeeper for the country, number one. Gatekeeper for the country in line with the government objective to reopen safely. And then BP on-site laboratory at KLIA and also KLIA 2 will be able to cater up to 45,000 passengers oh. daily. And then the test, we can increase up to 100 tests per day to departure. 100,000? 100,000, 300,000 from, from 45,000. Oh. We can increase up to 100,000 oh. per day to our pre-departure pre and also to the transit as well as to the arrival passengers. Mm -hmm. I mean pre-departure, transit and also the arrival passengers. As the traffic picks up, BP also looks forward to working with different agencies and different uh, government sectors in facilitating the travel, uh, travel bubbles and then the upcoming, particularly the upcoming BTL in collaboration with Singapore government, Fikri. Right. And in future, Fikri, BP also intend to further extend the services at BP facilities. We in, like to uh, expand it further to include other health uh, screening uh, to provide value added to customers. This pandemic has not only called for a more stringent screening of all inbound passengers, as you know that, mm -hmm. uh, for COVID, but also other communicable diseases which may threaten the safety of Malaysians' community. In view of this, BP ambitions serving uh, as one-stop health screening centre to inbound passengers to complement the COVID-19 test. And this is uh, in line with the BP Healthcare Group vision of creating a one-stop integrated healthcare ecosystem that delivers world-class quality services to all our customers and as a long-term value to all our stakeholders, Vikri. All right. Wow. Thank you so much. That was very resourceful, very insightful. Yeah. Thank you. You. All Thank right. Yang berbahagia, so Dato Dr. Haji Rohaizat, currently the advisor for BP Healthcare and has played a pivotal role in making all of this come true. Thank you so much, Dato. Thank you, Vikri. All right. We hope our audience today are more informed, and we are glad to hear about the swift COVID-19 service available at the airport. And once again, thank you to the BP team for offering these services yeah, and helping to make travel experience hassle-free for passengers. Okay, now let's head over to our giveaway session. Thank you once again, Dato. Yeah? Thank you. Alright, 
So, guess what time it is? It is time for our first giveaway. I hope all of you paid attention during the live stream. Now, we'll ask two very easy questions, and the first person to type in the correct answer on the chat will be the winner. Now, the winner for the first question will be entitled to BP Cash Voucher with 150 ringgit, whereas the winner for the second question will be walking away with the Apple iPad Mini 6th Generation 2021 model. So, are you guys ready? Here oh. we go. This is the question. Listen carefully. Where are we hosting this FB live stream from? Where? Simple, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, so easy. Have you guys been paying attention? Where are we right now? Where? Yeah, simple. <laughs> so you got one minute to comment away. The first winner with the right answer. The clock starts right now. All right, let's check out what you guys are commenting. Are you guys... What did we get? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, it is a very wow. We are in KLIA. That is correct. You are not wrong, but KLIA specifically in what place <laughs> which area in KLA which is it? area in KLA <laughs> there is a name for the place that we are in right now yes <laughs> maybe she's saying wow about the next giveaway oh yes, I the see. prices keep increasing yes, you yes, want to wait do. for that so the, for this price it's going to be the 150 ringgit BP voucher mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, what ooh someone said healthcare screening Malaysia airport BP healthcare KLA BP healthcare yeah you guys are starting to get it yes Starting to get it? Some answered only KLA. Well, we need the full answer. We need the full answer. Yeah, yeah. we are in KLA, but we need the full answer. So let's see oh, who... We oh, got a winner. We, we got a winner. We got a winner already. All right. So the winner for the BP Cash Voucher worth 150 ringgit is... <laughs> Bajoy's Radofan Medina. What a beautiful oh, name. Congratulations. Please send uh, BP Healthcare Facebook page uh, a DM, okay? And the team will get back to you on the steps to redeem your price. Now, moving on to the next question. This time, the winner will be taking home the Apple iPad Mini 6th Generation. Guys, are you ready? Here we go. This is the question. How long does it take for the rapid RT-PCR test to be ready? That's right. Okay, one minute. Go. How long does it take for a rapid RT-PCR test to be ready, That's the tricky. rapid one. Ooh, Ooh it's a bit see. tricky because I'm trying tricky. to think as well. Because he mentioned there were a few different kinds of right. services that BP has. Right. So they have the RT-PCR test, yes. then they have the rapid RT-PCR test, then okay. they have the rapid test. So Dato actually mentioned it earlier mm -hmm. during the interview. If you listen intently, intentively, what, what's yes. the word? Uh, carefully. Oh, no, they're all correct. <laughs> intensively, attentively, <laughs> intensely. Yes. Trying to sound intellectual right now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's see if they got their answer let's correct. Let's see who answered it right. We have some few people who are answering it yeah, correct. Yeah, some comes with love them all, the yeah, answer. I wow, yeah. want us to think you right. Put the love there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh. A lot of people are answering one hour. One hour, mm. is that the correct answer? That's too long, is it? Yeah. Is it too long? I don't know. The RT-PCR test. PCR test is using the robotics. I'm trying to trick them, the actually. Oh, are you? Yeah, are you yeah, oh, sorry, I am, sorry. I, I didn't get the vibe. I didn't get the wrong. <laughs> oh, no, yes. Some are saying 15 minutes. 15 hmm, minutes. Is that too yeah, short? Is that? Ah. Oh, guys, oh. we have a winner. Okay. We have the winner. So the winner for the Apple iPad Mini 6th Generation 2021 model is Simran Khan. Congratulations. Remember to send BP Healthcare Facebook page a DM from your account and the team will get back to you on the steps to redeem your prize. All right. Now for the rest of you there, don't worry, okay? We got more coming up. Mm -hmm. We have giveaways towards the end. And uh, one of you will be walking home with a MacBook Air M1 13-inch wow. 2021 model. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, it's that long. Yes. Yeah, the latest yeah, one. Yeah. That's all you know. <laughs> MacBook latest one. Okay? <laughs> so stay focused. Yeah, so before we move on to our next guest, we would like to showcase another video on BP Healthcare's COVID-19 RT-PCR testing technology and Dr. Tu platform, which ensures contactless and seamless service. BP Healthcare is the first lab in Southeast Asia to introduce a robotic RT-PCR testing process, which minimizes human error and ensures optimal daily test capacity. Let's check out this video. Since the beginning of the pandemic, BP Healthcare has been at the forefront of the fight against COVID in Malaysia. With over 100 million ringgit invested into our COVID labs, we ensure sufficient capacity, speed, and safety in screening tests required for the nation. 
COVID test appointments can be made anywhere through the Doctor to You app. Registration and payment can all be done online, minimizing the risk of contact with others. Personalized QR codes will be sent to appointment holders in order to efficiently direct them to their tests at any BP Healthcare outlet. We are equipped to turn over large volumes of test applications within one hour thanks to technological innovations within our testing infrastructure. BP Healthcare is the first lab in Southeast Asia to introduce a robotic sampling, auto extraction, and auto liquid handling RT PCR testing process. This minimizes the risk for human error whilst also enabling a daily throughput capability of 45,000 samples per day. Test applicants will receive their results through the Doctor to You app within three hours, with an optional request to fast track receiving test results within one hour also being available. Additionally, an email as well as a WhatsApp message will also be sent to applicants to ensure that they are notified immediately upon the completion of the test. At BP Healthcare, your well-being and safety remain our top priority. With the Doctor to You app, tests are able to be done seamlessly with minimal human contact. Moving forward, we strive to further improve the testing process to better serve our nation and her people. Now, how cool is that? Having pioneered COVID-19 testing services in the country and performed COVID-19 tests on more than 3.5 million people to date. BP Healthcare is definitely your trusted COVID-19 screening provider. For those of you who just joined us, we are currently running a live stream from this premium, state-of-the-art BP Health Screening Centre at KLIA. At this top class health screening center, you will be able to conveniently perform COVID-19 tests upon arrival or transit with comfort and quick turnaround time. Please visit airport.doctortu.my for more information on this. All right. Earlier, we had Ms. Hani Ezra Hussein from MAHB and Yang Bahagi Dr. Dr. Hajiro Haizat from BP Healthcare during the first half. And now we're moving on to our third guest. If you have any questions, please drop your queries in the comment section and we will try to address them throughout the event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our third guest for today, Dr. Yasmin Binti Yasim from Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Welcome, Dr. Yasmin. It is a great pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you, Natalia. <laughs> All right, let us start with a brief introduction of yourself. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay, my name is Yasmin Yasim. And um, I'm the Undersecretary of Tourism Policy and International Affairs Division, Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, or as uh, popularly known as MOTEC. All right, thank you, Dr. Yasmin. Now, just to start things off, um, could you give us, um, I'm sure everybody here is really keen on hearing about the developments and progress within the tourism sector in Malaysia. So, because there's all this pent-up demand for traveling after almost two years of battling the COVID-19 pandemic. So, my first question is, could you give us some insights on the local tourism sector outlook in the short term and long term? Okay, of course. Tourism is a vital lifeline for many economies around the world. Tourism boosts revenue in the economy creates jobs, develops the infrastructure of a country and facilitates a sense of cultural exchange among people around the world. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, travel and tourism was one of the major contributors to Malaysia's economy. Growing from strength to strength each year with a contribution of 15.9% to Malaysia's economy in 2019, with 21, uh, 26.1 million inbound tourist arrivals. Uh, 86 uh, billion ringgit receipts and the employment of 3.6 million persons which contributed 23.6% to the total employment. Wow. Yeah. In 2020, tourism industry contributed only 14.1% to GDP, a significant drop of 17.1% as compared to 2019. Mm. According to the latest UNWTO barometer, 60 of the experts surveyed predict the start of a rebound in 2022 and a return to pre-pandemic 2019 levels in 2024 or later. Domestic tourism is expected to pick up at a greater pace in 2022 
since most people are likely to choose domestic travel and nearby destinations due to lingering concerns over safety. Recovery projection is very promising, especially we have many re revenge tourists who has diligently uh, stayed at home throughout the movement control order period, who is now eager to travel again. Yes, and I am one of those revenge tourists, and that is <laughs> for sure. Well, yes, it, it, is, it is a little bit sad to know that the tourism sector has dropped so dramatically and all because of this pandemic, but it's good to know that we're, it's, things are going to look up in 2024, right? All right, so for our second question, what are the steps that MOTEC will be taking in order for Malaysians to feel safe again and ready to travel? Okay, notwithstanding the challenges posed by the severe outbreak of COVID-19, new variants and resurgences of COVID-19 waves, the government through MOTEC reaffirms its commitment towards keeping the tourism industry afloat with holistic plans and programs in place. MOTEC, in close consultation with industry associations, has formulated and implemented the Tourism Recovery Plan or TRP under the National Tourism Policy, which, is, uh, which will be implemented. Uh, it's still ongoing from 2020 to 2030 with focus on the following strategies. Uh, number one, revitalizing domestic tourism by offering more creative and attractive travel packages through digital platforms offer incentives and promotions in the form of rebate vouchers, e-vouchers, cashback through e-wallets and discounts, at the same time promoting the uniqueness of rural tourist, tourist destinations or hidden gems as tourists now prefer safer destinations, fewer people and fresh air. Uh, number two, restoring public confidence to travel again by adapting to the new normal such as emphasising on hygiene, cleanliness and health safety and compliance to SOPs, uh, for instance, uh, the Travel Safe Alliance. Uh, number three, embracing the technology of secure, seamless and contactless travel, such as cashless payment, online booking, contactless transaction and contactless check-in. Number four, Reskilling and upskilling to improve the capacity and credibility of the profession by adapting to the new normal, especially digital literacy training. Number five, easing regulations to ensure the survivability of the industry, for example, by simplifying regulations, waiving of license fees for travel agencies and tour guides. Number six, promoting sustainable tourism development by re-strategizing efforts to conserve and preserve the environment such as considering the carrying capacity on islands or fragile destinations. Number seven, strengthening public-private partnerships, especially in recreating tourism, arts and culture products to be more appealing and innovative as well as in keeping the number of COVID-19 infections low by complying to the SOPs. And number eight, kick-starting international travel with focus on vaccinated travellers, personalised and small group tours and packages, the decision to open the country's borders must be carried out carefully, taking into account uh, public health interests between countries. Yes, that is absolutely amazing. So as you can see, Botec and our government are taking very careful steps to ensure that travellers feel safe when they travel. So that's honestly a very, very good thing to know, especially as someone like me who wants to revenge travel. So yeah, all right, moving on, um, I'd like to know what are the updates, do you have any updates on the travel bubble plans and prospects of quarantine-free travel agreements with other countries? Okay, of course there are updates. Mm -hmm. Following the development of the country's very encouraging vaccination rate, the government has announced the Langkawi domestic tourism bubble pilot project beginning 16th of September 2021 followed by interstate travel starting 11th October 2021. This was good news for the industry players across the country as interstate travel accounts for more than 60% of the country's domestic travel. The Langkawi domestic tourism bubble pilot project has successfully recorded the arrival of over 100,000 visitors from across the country mm. within a month of its implementation. <laughs> I know I'm one of them. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> In efforts to further accelerate the country's, uh, the industry's recovery, 
the government has decided to open Langkawi to international tourists beginning 15th of November 2021 through the Langkawi Island International Tourism Bubble Pilot Project. International travellers who are fully vaccinated can travel quarantine-free into Langkawi. Children under the age of 18 have to be accompanied by their parents or guardians who have been fully vaccinated. This pilot project serves as an indicator for the government to determine its further expansion to other resort islands and tourist destinations. Well, that is awesome. So, uh, the, we have all, you, all the information you need for local traveling, but now we want to know as Malaysians who want to travel outside of Malaysia, what the recommendations for safe travel destinations are. Okay. Everywhere is safe if everyone continues to follow the SOPs while traveling. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. we need to keep the cases low, yeah. the public health system safe, and to ensure tourism and travel activities remain open. Yes. We hope the gradual reopening of our borders will not just further increase tourist arrivals and receipts, but also contribute to the full reopening of our borders to international travelers. As new COVID-19 waves emerge in other regions of the world, the government is always prepared and taking all necessary steps before fully opening the country's borders. No one is safe until everyone is safe. That is very, very true. So I'm so happy that MoTeC and the government are taking all these steps to ensure our safety as well as, you know, making it feel like we can have our lives back again. So thank you so much, Dr. Yasmin, for all your insights and outlook. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure the audience uh, were okay. excited listening to these and are already looking forward to and planning for their holiday very soon. Okay, I'm sure many of you are standing by for the last giveaway of the night. Please stay tuned. We have exciting giveaways during the event, which includes a MacBook Air M1 13-inch 2021 model. So. Be sure to pay close attention during the live stream and stay with us until the very end to stand a chance to win these exciting giveaways. So our last guest for today is Zul Idris from MHTC. He is the Vice President of Business Sustainability at Malaysia Healthcare Travel Council, MHTC, building the sustainability of Malaysia's healthcare travel industry by executing various strategic business initiatives and partnerships in growing the ecosystem. For those of you who have never heard of MHTC, it is an agency under the Ministry of Health tasked to facilitate and promote the healthcare travel industry of Malaysia by coordinating industry collaborations and building valuable public-private partnerships at home and abroad. Their vision is to put Malaysia on the map as a leading global healthcare destination. Now let's welcome him in. We have Mr. Zol on the line. Hello and good evening, Mr. Zol. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. So for this session, we will be discussing more on the local health tourism sector. First and foremost, I've heard before that Malaysia is known to be a popular choice as a healthcare destination. What makes Malaysia among the top healthcare destination? Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, BP Healthcare, for having Malaysia Healthcare Travel Council or MHTC as a part of the program today. Malaysia as destination for healthcare and wellness, it has gained popularity for a number of years now. This is due to the fact that Malaysia offers world-class quality, ease of accessibility, and comparative affordability. Malaysia healthcare, or even Malaysia, is also known as a destination that put a lot of emphasis or priority on patient safety. This is the reason why a lot of travelers or healthcare travelers are coming to Malaysia and they spread the words um, to, um, to their friends, to their family, uh, for them to actually visit Malaysia. And also, as you know it, um, Malaysia is also known as Muslim-friendly destination and this adds more factors to, to, to the reason why Malaysia is being chosen as a dest destination for healthcare and wellness. And recently, in terms of the management of COVID uh, overall, um, Malaysia has placed itself in a spot where COVID-19, the pandemic, has been managed um, well, and this has further 
position Malaysia as a trusted and safe place for medical tourists to, to come and visit. Ah, I see. So what is Malaysia's ranking in terms of healthcare travel destinations globally and its key strengths? When we talk about ranking and recognition, Malaysia has won a number of very important awards um, at an international level. Once dubbed as the hidden jewel of Asia, Malaysia has won Destination of the Year, uh, granted by International Medical Travel Journal that's based in the UK for four times. Um, from 2015 until 2017 and once again we won in 2020. Wow, that's very impressive. Now, my next question is, what are the top sources of medical tourism arrivals to Malaysia? When we talk about the number of uh, medical tourists coming to Malaysia for treatment, in 2019 alone, 1.22 million foreign patients or international patients came to Malaysia for various treatments. 60% of this is actually from Indonesia and the rest of that is coming from various countries in the world such as even Singapore, um, Indochina, China, Middle East and the UK as well as the United States. I see. I'm sure these numbers have dropped dramatically post-COVID-19 pandemic. So then, what is the current and forecasted recovery of the Malaysian medical tourism industry? Medical tourism sector was badly impacted due to pandemic COVID-19. That has resulted to the fact that we have shrunk from 1.7 billion in revenue in 2019 to 780 million ringgit in revenue in 2020. We are hoping to be achieving or to be performing around the same figure, 780 million for 2021. We are quite hopeful that this is achievable because there are certain measures that are being taken so that the travelling um, the bubbles are happening and we can, could actually welcome people to come to Malaysia for, for treatment. With all the plans that are in place and with, with all the support by the stakeholders in the industry, we are hoping to achieve 1.7 billion ringgit in revenue uh, by 2025. And this is going to impact the nat at national level, a contribution to the economy of around 7 billion ringgit. Well, that certainly sounds very promising. Now, my next question is, are there any more promising healthcare travel opportunities coming out of this COVID-19 pandemic? What we have noticed uh, during COVID-19 is that uh, a lot more international patients who are away from Malaysia, they have started to adopt um, telehealth or they are more digitalized. They are getting more used to contacting the uh, specialists in Malaysia using all these di latest digital innovations like telehealth. We are seeing this trend as acceleration of the adoption of digital in healthcare travel. What it means is that there's a lot more usage of these digital applications among patients, um, hospitals as well as specialists or doctors themselves. So moving forward uh, based on this, this is a good outcome that is coming out of uh, such a crisis. We would like to build this further in terms of digitalizing the patient journey so that when international patients come to Malaysia after the pandemic, after COVID-19, they would experience a different landscape of healthcare services and wellness offered by Malaysia. That's really great to know. What are the plans the medical tourism sector have in terms of recovering and sustaining Malaysia's t spot as the top healthcare destination? Pandemic COVID-19 has left quite a dent in the industry of medical tourism for Malaysia. In the blueprint that was launched um, earlier this month, we have outlined a five-year plan in preparing the industry to bounce back by 2025. The first phase we call the recovery phase, which is 2021 to 2022 and then this is about getting all the ecosystem to come together all stakeholders to come together with hospitals non-hospitals to come together to prepare malaysia as a whole as a product for malaysia healthcare to be promoted to the world from the year of 2023 until 2025 it's all about going out there to really build the awareness to build the brand presence in all the core markets and all the new markets that we are going to conquer 
So with this, this is actually a solid plan that is outlined, as I said, and the blueprint to prepare Malaysia to greet all these international patients once again and to place Malaysia as the preferred go-to country when it comes to healthcare and wellness. Well, that sounds like a very achievable plan. Now, my final question is, what are the key focus areas for medical tourism in the short term and long term? In terms of positioning Malaysia into the world, we will focus on Malaysia being the cardiology hub of Asia, Malaysia as a fertility hub of Asia, Cancer Center of Excellence, flagship medical tourism hospital, international retirement living, and last but not least, Malaysia as the hepatitis C treatment hub of Asia. With all these offerings and close collaboration among stakeholders in the ecosystem, we are confident that Malaysia will remain as the preferred healthcare wellness destination among healthcare travelers. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Zul, for your insights on the local healthcare tourism sector. It was indeed interesting to learn more about this and Malaysia's plans on being a leader in healthcare travel. Well, in case you missed it from the beginning of the live stream, let's check out this video for a passenger walkthrough upon arrival at KLIA. Hello and welcome to Malaysia. Whether it's your first time here or on a returning flight, we at BP are committed to creating a pleasant experience for you through our new COVID-19 screening process here in KLIA. As soon as you arrive, please proceed towards the BP Health Screening Lounge. While you proceed to walk past a thermal scanner, which scans all arriving passengers. Test our COVID-19 swab test online from your home country, please proceed to the self-registration kiosk to process your e-vouchers. If you have not yet purchased the swab test, do not worry as our friendly BP registration staff will assist you with the process. After registering, take a seat and relax at a world-class design lounge while you wait for your COVID-19 swab test. Our dedicated team of healthcare professionals will be there to support you through the entire process. Our screening facility is also equipped with a state-of-the-art on-site COVID-19 lab to ensure a quick turnaround time and the release of the test result. And that's it! Here at BP, we hope that you have a pleasant experience with us throughout this process. Till we meet again next time from everyone here at BP. Take care and stay safe. When did the... <laughs> Wait, one second. Are we not? Yes. We want the... Yeah. The what? precise question will be... There you go. When did the Langkawi <laughs> Tourism Bubble Pilot Project begin for international tourists? We want to be precise with we the questions. We want to be precise with the questions. I didn't want to confuse you guys, so I want to repeat the questions correctly. So... Some, some answers are coming in already. Ooh, we have 16 November. We have 15 November. What well, someone answer four times? Four times. What, huh? was, what, what were you answering to? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Huh? No, Four no, no. times. Huh? The Langkawi for international tourists, remember. So I remember for, for um, local tourists was 16th of September, right? right? So there's a yeah. date, date 16th, month, and year. Correct. Yeah, that's what so we want. 16th September was for local. Okay. So it's not that answer. Because oh. I remember that because, you know, that, that answer was because I went for Langkawi like immediately once it opened for local. You cannot tahan, is it? Cannot tahan. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> but for the international tourists is a different date oh right so a lot of people are answering 15th of november yeah is that the answer were you listening no he was busy working <laughs> so he was not listening i was looking at myself for <laughs> <on> the camera yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right all right so our one minute is up and we also have a winner oh, nice so the winner for the bp eyebright oral healthcare device is Ahmad Helmi. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, please send BP Healthcare Facebook page a DM and the team will get back to you on the steps to redeem your prize. All right, moving on to the next question. This time the winner will be taking home. Everybody wants this love. Um, even I want it. I want it Can too. I answer? My keypad was not already okay. now. Do we know the answer? <laughs> no, no. So check out the question. You will be walking home if you win this, a MacBook Air M1 13-inch 2021 model. Oh. 
Yeah. Ready? Yeah? Okay. okay. Here's the question. Listen carefully. Mm. How many times has Malaysia won a destination of the year granted by International Medical Travel Journal Travel? Yeah, I know. I know. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let me repeat that. Uh, let me repeat that. Uh. Okay. How many times has Malaysia won a destination of the year granted by International Medical Travel Journal Travel? Yeah. Mm. How many times? One minute starts right now. Honestly, I don't even know how many times. Right. That's why they win the MacBook I mean, Air because it's a I hard was question. By not listen. I mean, I know roughly. I think is this answer, but right. I'm hundred percent sure. What's your answer without looking at the iPad? No, I don't want to say. Oh, okay. Because then they'll know, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's just now that person said. Hey, a lot of people are answering the number before. Yeah. Before, before five? the question. <laughs> no lah, the number before five. Yes, 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 and yes, after yes. three. No, remember just now when we had the question and someone answered. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, before we asked. Huh? Yeah. Advanced. Very advanced. How do you know that was going to be our question? <laughs> that was quite a Very amazing. clairvoyant of you. Very, very. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they knew. A lot of people are actually listening very well. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are answering correctly. They Let's see are. who is the first though to answer correctly. I so, know. Yeah. It sounds like it is Mag correct. Air, Mag Air, let's see. I know, who's the lucky, lucky winner? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm okay. sure the answer, the winner will be up soon. No, but I it's, hope it is me. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's not you. I'm so sorry to tell you, it's not going to be you. But it's pretty awesome that Malaysia did win four times though, right? Yes, yes. Like, I mean, that's an impressive thing. I didn't realize that Malaysia was on the map for being a really great healthcare destination. Yes. You know, it's a really good option and it's really nice to know. I'm very proud of Malaysia for being that. Truly you know? proud of Malaysia yeah. being Malaysians ourselves. And now we're ensuring that everybody that comes here and leaves are in good health. Yes, yes. that is true. That's what BP does. They're gatekeepers for us to, you know, to travel safely. Yeah. That's, that's Safe for sure, rest assured, that's what mm -hmm. we want. And yeah, you should come here and see this health screening uh, place yourself because yeah. this it facility, is state of the art. It is pretty dope, I have to say. <laughs> it looks really, really nice. It's very comfortable, very clean. Might I chip in the, the uh, loo for the, yeah. the men's loo? It's yep. all marble. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, I actually I, took a picture there. It's very nice. Instagram worthy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, OTD. Here's a tip for you. <laughs> all right. So. Ah. The winner! Alright, who do you think the winner is for the MacBook Air M1 13-inch 2021 model? Such a lucky girl. Or Klar Medina! Woo! Klar Medina! Wow! You want a MacBook Air! Klar, remember to send uh, BP Healthcare Facebook page uh, a DM, okay? And the team will get back to you on the steps to redeem your MacBook Air, the latest oh, one, okay? So jealous. Congrats to all the winners once again! All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying with us up till the very end. We hope all of you have gained some insights on the new travel norms and are more informed on the testing requirements for traveling. Having said that, we here at BP Healthcare are ready to serve you at our health screening center at KLIA and KLIA2 to facilitate your journey through our swift COVID-19 services upon arrival, transit or departure. If you're making any travel plans, we highly recommend you to pre-purchase our COVID-19 screening packages online via our website below or download a Dr. Tu mobile app to ensure a seamless journey. Now, if you like what you saw in the live stream today, remember to follow our Facebook page and share our live stream content to your friends and family. Thank you all so much for joining me and Fikri here this evening. I really had a lot of fun with the guests and all of you. Good night and have a great weekend ahead. Stay safe. <laughs>